Okay, so I decided I kind of wanted to build an eight sim house because I think it was a little, I was watching, it was a little sims here that did it. And I was like, I want to build one now. And I tried to make it because I was like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to make it be a smaller house than I normally built. I have succeeded. Some of the bedrooms were maybe a little spacey, but it's, it's, it's a not super huge house. Don't worry, that whole building bit to the right there, that goes. That disappears. Before you're going like, not big, it's the whole lot! Uh, so it, it works out, it works out. There's the, there's a nice little open living room, laundry area, kitchen, yada yada. And there's a little, little toilet area right there, that's it beside the stairs. And one double bedroom downstairs. And then upstairs is two bathrooms, and four bedrooms, one of which is a twin bedroom and Two of which could be made twin bedrooms as well if you really wanted them to. But, you know, we don't have that many sims. But you could you could rearrange your sims any way you like. That's the point. And, no, sorry, I'm... No, five bedrooms. Yes, five. Yes. Two, two one, yeah, one is a double. Two could be a double. There's a little teeny tiny toilet room and then there's another little bedroom that's very much a little bedroom. Now I'm trying to think, do I have more rooms than are needed in the house? <laughs> I'm, I'm literally counting. <laughs> no, no, it works out. It's, it's enough. It's, it's exactly eight beds. Just, I don't know. I forgot about the one little bedroom because I added it in at last minute because I was like, no, it needs another. I won't double it up, one of the other rooms up. I'll just make another tiny room because that makes sense. And then they have a, f I don't want to say a fancy backyard, but they have a pool. And as far as I'm concerned, if you have a pool, your own personal pool, that's fancy. So there's a pool and, you know, just a little barbecue and scenery outside. Nothing too special, aside from the pool. Did I mention there's a pool? I spent a while, like I changed from the, the yeah, I, I, I debated on those two cookers and fridges for a bit. I, I go with the pair that's to the left now. But I spent a while trying to fight with the uh, kitchen layout counterwise because I was like, can I make enough islands that they could reasonably all sit around? But then, uh, then I was like, no, that throws my, that makes it feel out of whack if I add in an extra one because of... Because of the inconvenient way that, because they're out of, you know, they're, they're an L shape, there's a, the one in the corner can't, you can't put a seat at. And that kind of takes it out of space and it's like, ugh. It wasn't, it, I was like, yes, this is going to be efficient. And it was like, oh, oh no, I can't use that one. So I tried ex just t adding an extra one on and bringing the half wall out and then I was like, no, because this just looks wrong. This looks like it's throwing everything off. Everything is wrong! It wasn't quite that dramatic. So I, I shove in the nice round table. Is it the one that came with... Uh, it's the big... Did it come with laundry stuff? It's either, I, in my head, I feel like it's either laundry stuff or like the parenty pack. But I feel like it's newer, so it must be laundry stuff. But it's the big round table that's a six-seater, but it's like a in proper indoors dining table. See? See? Because you can't put one in the corner, and, and you can't put one at the one beside the corner because the chair takes up space. And I was like, no! I literally started pointing my screen there as if you can see me. Like, pointing dramatically. It's not that dramatic. It's kind of lazily, if anything. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't point full dramatic when, you know, no one can witness it. And I, I, I kind of fought with how many sofas go here as well, because I was like, I want to make them at an angle, but then I was like, but one's going to look like it's not pointed towards the TV, and that feels wrong, which probably says too much about me. I don't know. I wouldn't even, I don't even watch TV anymore. I just use everything on the internet. Netflix has my bank account hostage. I mean, what? I, I tried to fit all the cat and dog ornaments there. It still works. They're all still there. They're just not all on the fireplace. So yeah, it kind of ends up like it's kind of colorful, but not too, not crazy. Like it's, 
I feel like the kitchen's kind of very end chill. There's a lot of sort of greens and blues and yellows and whatnot. And then, okay, the the double bedroom runs through. You'll you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You all see. So it's 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 a vibrant home. It's not it's not too crazy, but they like their color. They were like, yeah, it's gonna be colorful and happy and shiny. There's the table. There's the table. I told you about. I told you. I told you it existed. You doubted me. You didn't doubt me. I don't know. I'm sorry. I ramble, but I'm not sorry. I'm really not sorry. I just. <laughs> I mean, you could mute me if you want. You could mute me and listen to your own music and watch this build happen, so... You're choosing to listen to my ramble at this point. But yeah, so as I said, there's a little laundry bit. So I just, I shoved it in that gap because I was like, gee, I could put the lot of the washer and dryer there. And then I was like, hey, that laundry shelf thingamabob fits in the exact amount of squares left over. How perfect. So I was like, okay, yeah, the laundry could be done there because, you know, there's no real reason. There couldn't be a, a, a casual laundry area in between rooms because, you know, some people have a freaking utility room dedicated to washing. Some people have it in the kitchen. Why not have it casually beside the kitchen in the open plan house? Hmm? The, yes, this is the room. It gets quite, it's quite colorful. I kind of... I mean... I made a, I made a couple of the walls be different because I was like, yes, we'll have, like, decorative walls. Because it was just, there was just so much going on furniture wise. The walls didn't look right being totally like plain or like all cons like consistently one plain color, so to speak. So it's it's just, it's a nice little room. There's, that's all, it's a bedroom. It's, it's, it's just a bedroom. There's, there's nothing more to that one. I, oh, I still have such a time picking floors. As you can see, I'm like, which works? Which works more? I can't actually remember which one I don't. Did I stick with that one for the kitchen? I'm not sure. We, we're gonna find out at some point. Because I decided instead of. Because I normally build my houses like I'll do all the furnishing and then I'll come back and do all the walls and covers. But this time I was like, no, I'll do the walls and the floors for downstairs. Then I'll go upstairs and finish, like, furnish it, then decorate it. So you can see, yeah, lots of greens. It's pretty chill. It's it's like I said. I think I sum it up okay. Like it's it's colorful. It's bright, but it's not too crazy. It's it's chill color. And this is me being like, ah, what colored wall goes with this room? None of them work. And there we go, decorative wall. Cause I was like, we'll have something, and it'll sort of work. You know, let let's say the uh, the parents really like. Just really like throwing colors around, and the, the bedrooms where they went really, really, really yellow. I mean, who wouldn't? Yellow's a good color. And upstairs, so you can see the little middle bit at the front and the little middle bit on the right. Those are two more bathrooms. This is a big bedroom. This is a bedroom. I feel like it's the. Old. I mean, I don't. I normally do build with in mind with the sims when I sort of had half ideas but I was kind of like nah they're all just random kids rooms that one I see being a teenager's room like they've they've like I don't know they're the oldest and they fought their way to the biggest room they're the oldest and uh, their parents uh, decided no you can have the big room because uh, yeah, please, yeah, please don't kill your siblings I, I don't know whatever way you'd like to believe that worked out it worked out so they have a nice little desk they have their little vanity table and they get a nice little music system. You know, they have a nice room to just chill in, do whatever they want. It's very creams, bit of blue. You can you can see this. I mean, why am I telling this? You can see this. I do eventually. I had fun with all decorations. I will say. I was like, yes, I've actually used these posters and try to combine them like with that big. Yeah, try to add a few extras to the big group of them. And of course, a casual music -y posters everywhere but I do bring this this room make this room a little bit smaller and add in another bedroom because I was like this is a bit big and I was like I may need another bedroom which I did and there's just lots of closet space there's lots and lots of closet space all built in of course for quote unquote extra space like does it save space when it essentially takes up another room to be a you know 
Ooh, let's not tell the Sims that. As far as the Sims know, the uh, built-in closets totally save them space. <laughs> Having second thoughts about that sofa still. It kind it's the closest that works with that room and it's a nice sofa, but I feel like I can't I don't know if it's a little too much, just not quite not quite working with the room, but I'm probably overthinking it because now I'm like eagle-eyed staring at my build, like what did I do wrong? But hey, at least this time I hopefully remembered to actually do all the floors. No accidental concrete floors in this one. I mean, I think I've only done that a couple of times, but it's, it sticks out in my memory. So this is a very, very, very pink kids' room. Like, she, they get the hamster cage. They're, they're all about their cats and their hamsters, and... Yeah. Also, is anyone else having the hamster not, like... Whenever it says, like, he's taken off his rocket ship and stuff... I don't know if I'm too slow going over to the cage, or if like he's just not actually having any animations with this, because you might be able to see him like blast off in the rocket ship, aren't you? And so the toddler's room, very orange, a little bit dinosaur themed, but not super dinosaur themed. And the other upstairs room there is the twin room. But like I said, you could shove another bed in any of the others near enough, and with a little bit of rearranging. Any room can be a twin room if you want it to be. This one's very oranges, reds, and blues. Kinda try to step up, shove everything in. I went ahead and made it two, two built-in closets, cause you know, your Sims might not need the storage, but they need the storage. There's two of them in there, you know? And they got the dinosaur, there's also a little, I just like the dinosaur stuff for the kids, okay? You can tell I'm like working with my sort of red and blue over there, orange, red, like there's color, there's color. And dinosaurs. The most important thing is dinosaurs. Speaking of dinosaurs, I am so hyped for the next Jurassic World movie. I am hyped for that. I'm hyped for the Jurassic World Evolution game. I will be teeny tiny little bit obsessed with that. Just teeny tiny little bit. Yeah, this is the bathroom. So I decided one bathroom can just have a bath and that'll be it. And then the other one can have an actual shower. So that, well... It's still a bath shower, so no matter what, any toddlers or pets, they will be clean, they will be happy, they will squeak like a rubber duck, they'll be so clean. But, you know, I figured, let's not have all the showers, let's, let's, I don't know. I didn't have a reason, I was just like, I always put showers in bathrooms, let's have one with a bath, but still have, like, a shower in the other one, so it's still fine. It's fine. I still don't know half the time what rugs to put in places, but I was I'm I'm still sad there isn't an elephant rug to go with that shower, but I'm really happy to fit in the whale and the elephant one. I was like, yes, this could be the kids' bathroom. They demanded elephants and whales. It was totally for them and not because I like using that furniture. No, there's nobody building this house for them. That would be crazy talk. And there, see, I meant I told you. Make that room a little smaller, and there's a teeny tiny bedroom beside it. Because I figured that the, the sim, the kid that gets that room is the kid that's like, they're never in the room. They're, they're, they maybe do their homework in the room, and they're gone. They're off doing stuff. Outside, and the rest of the house, whatever. They get a little artist, a little uh, painting easel. You know, they can say they're not going to be bored if they're in the room, but it's not their hangout. More like the their sibling beside them. Clearly a bit more hangs out in their room. See? Dinosaurs. Gotta have dinosaurs. I think at this point I was thinking I should switch the... The dinosaur one for the one that's in the double room. The twin room. The, can you call it... Because the double room makes it sound like a double bed, but the twin room... You know, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a hotel. I don't need to worry about the technicalities in phrasing for bedrooms. Or do I? I don't. It's fine. And I love the Void Critters. I've actually been really lazy with my Sims playing Void Critters or actually going hunting for cards. And then the hallways, which are my least favorite thing to do because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing with them. But I think this one turned out okay. And I got, I got sort of enough pictures that at least... For Sort of work together, and there's a bunch of plants, and a few 
few end tables and whatnot. You know, this is usual diaper. I was fighting with the curtain so much here because that one, th that window doesn't want to. It just does not want to sit the same way the others do. It's either way above or like below the actual end of the, the actual window frame. And I, 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 I gave up, as you can tell. I gave up. It's close enough. We're not. We're not going to go on a curtain inspection, right? But it was driving me crazy, and I feel like that always happens to me. There's always one window that's like the rebel, and it refuses. It refuses. Yeah. I normally, like I said, I'd, I like I did say, I normally actually like have an idea in mind for the Sims that I would move into a house when I'm building it, and I feel weird for not having it this time. I just went with generic. Well, not generic. I mean, is it generic? What counts as generic? But just general, like, yes, eight sim home, parents and kids. That's what I went with. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use it eventually, because I'm, I'm trying to start, because I'm a horrible, I'm horrible for just starting a sim game, playing with it a bit, and then abandoning that sim for more or less forever. Maybe occasionally revisiting. Sims 4 is the first time I do have a family that's, I'm checking they're on their fur third slash fourth generation. And that's, that's, the, and I've played them tons. That's, that's the most I've ever stuck with any sim, family, household, whatever. And I still, I still have to take breaks from because sometimes I'm like, nah, I don't feel like playing my main family. Plus at this point, there's enough like siblings and cousins with the game is a little, a little laggy at points. So it's like, I love them all, but I, I feel, I have to feel dedicated enough to be like, yes, I will go open that save. But this, this is in a different world. I have one sim. She's alone. She lives alone with all her cats. She's working on getting a significant other. And I figure eventually, you know, I'll actually do a proper generations. I don't want to say legacy because I'm not going to hold myself to any rules. But I'll actually, you know, I'll let the old sims actually die off. Maybe I'll keep a few favourites around as vampires. And they can just keep moving in place. And eventually they'll occupy this house. It'll be an interesting one because they're going to, they're going to need to be a little bit rich. And maybe... Hmm. Will they have eight kids before they move in? Or You know, I have many questions for what I will do in The Sims now. Right after I finish recording this, I'm actually going to go play with said Sim who... Her or her descendants will eventually live here. Yeah. Yeah. Ramble. I'm good at it. I'm a talented rambler. The rest is really just me figuring out rugs, adding in a few more little bits and pieces here and there. And then I actually remember doing the outside. Like I said, they have a pool. Be fancy, they have a pool. Oh yeah, I fought with the roof a little bit, like for the little uh, lower segment above the front door. So I couldn't get the roofs to actually line up, and then I was like, you know what, there's there's probably a trick for this. And I looked up, and there's a trick. It's two ha half diagonal, half-hipped, and then a normal half-hipped in the middle, and you combine them, and you can make them look level, and it'll look right in that kind of shape, space. And I did that, and it looked way better than this. Don't worry, it gets better, I promise. <laughs> But it's still, I couldn't, for whatever reason, one of them didn't want to extend the way, the same as the, 
yeah, it was one side wouldn't extend as far as the other side would for no apparent reason. Like, it was like it was being blocked by something, but I looked around, there was nothing blocking. I tried moving stuff, it was like, nah, not happening. So it's technically a little bit off, but that's, you know. But thank you very much for watching, and if you're looking for a probably slightly overpriced eight sim house, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it if you made it this far. Have a great day!